you're putting the community at risk, you're putting your child at risk, it's just not okay. Uh, that one of many doctors um, and uh, other folks who are being very critical of uh, folks who have decided to be quote unquote anti-vaxxers. Now you cannot find a medical professional, medical association who says that children should not get the measles vaccine. In fact, the president, even other leaders, including uh, Republican uh, Speaker of the House John Boehner, all agree this is something that parents should do. Well, yeah, we'll get into that. We talked about that one last night. Don't even and ask Rand Paul about it. Right. When you look at him, he really <laughs> looks like a healthy By the way, specimen come back too. from a country even with no symptoms of Ebola, you're going to be quarantined, but I digress. He's okay. a guy who really should be giving out health advice. Exactly. Chris <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Going political. Uh, but well, I mean, while there is it. unanimity, at least oh, in the true. medical field, in every uh, uh, alphabet suit of letters from sure. the American Medical Association, the CDC, et cetera, the Surgeon General will say you should do it, some parents insist that they do not want to vaccinate their children. Now, those parents are being called, quote, unquote, anti-vaxxers, and many of them believe that the measles vaccine is linked to autism. Now, this despite the fact that there is no reputable scientific evidence to back up such a claim. For years, measles was eradicated in the U.S., but doctors say unvaccinated children have contributed to a resurgence. There are more than 100 cases in the U.S. just so far this year, and a daycare in Southern California has recently shut down after a child who's too young to get vaccinated, in fact, contracted measles. Okay, so let's just assume at this conversation that we're not going to debate whether or not vaccinating for measles is sound medical uh, policy. The debate then comes in, what kind of consequences should parents who decide to say, you know what, forget science, I know better, I'm not going to vaccinate my kid. Should there be exposure civilly at least, if not more? Well, here's the deal. A failure to act requires a legal obligation to act. In 1925 or thereabouts, Mark will know, the Supreme Court reviewed a Massachusetts statute that required vaccinations and said they're legal even without exemptions. So there should be laws that require the vaccination and therefore a legal obligation, the failure to act of which would result and should result in civil liability. And to go even further, it is a criminal violation, for example, if you are infected with the AIDS virus and you purposefully infect somebody. Now, if you know your child has measles and you know how that can spread and you purposefully put your child in a position to spread it, one can think of that analogy as well. So the statutes should be enacted, there should be a legal obligation, and therefore there would be at least civil liability. And that part of the challenge is right now, the vast majority of states um, have no exemptions. However, there are some states that have not only a medical exemption, but what's called a philosophical exemption. And pretty much, you can make up your it's own uh, one about that. Where everyone says, well, that's that state. People are portable. We had one case where somebody went to Disneyland, okay? And obviously in Disneyland, people come from all 50 states and abroad here. And I think they're coming there with the expectation that they couldn't be walking into a potential uh, measle-infected uh, measle, uh, person, epidemic. So, Mark, I come back to it. We talk about rights, but also responsibilities. Exactly. Civilly, at least. You have doctors right now. You heard one. He refuses to have patients come into his rating room if they have measles. Who could blame uh, him for that? If they aren't vaccinated, I should say. Schools are saying if you're not vaccinated, can't come to class. If it's a right, as Mayo's going to say in a second, should there... Should, even if we disagree with the rights, should they still be afforded all equal rights as everybody else's? Should they be restricted because of their choices? This is not a state's rights issue. And ordinarily, I'm not a fan of over-federalizing things. But this is uh, a paradigmatic example of an area where Congress should be stepping in and acting and passing a national mandate for vaccinations, at least in cases where the science like measles is utterly indisputable. There's ample con uh, constitutional authority under Article One, Section 8 to regulate commerce, to make laws necessary for the general welfare, to uh, condition the congressional spending power, and to, do, uh, to execute those laws under the necessary and proper clause. If there are people walking around here really forcing their children who didn't ask to be born 
to get sick and not be vaccinated. This chills the national economy. It takes away productivity of the American people. It's right in the wheelhouse of Congress's Commerce Authority, and Congress has to step in and stop this insanity because religious exemptions, like Amish people, that's one thing, and we can argue about the bona fides of those beliefs. This is a bunch of crackpots who are just denying absolute indisputable in, in medical Mayo, science. I would argue we're going to see more of, of us because what do we see now in the advent of the Internet age? Everybody likes a, to be a conspiracy a theorist, right? Everyone's and everyone believes you go to WebMD and you can find one thing that that supports you as Marx is your If you have empirical evidence of something, is it enough to say, I think different and I know better for my kid? Well, there's empirical evidence that it diminishes and, and, and almost has eradicated measles. There's not necessarily empirical evidence that you can't get sick from the vaccine. In fact, there, there is some evidence that shows that a small percentage of the people will get sick from the vaccine. So it's a little bit different. But when you stop and look at what we're talking about right now, we fought for years over whether we ought to have a health care bill. We finally have one. And that is for people who are sick or who want to maintain their health to have the discretion to be able to go to a doctor. Now we're talking about mandating people to put a foreign substance, foreign bodies into their own body. Um, and I don't think that we should be playing God and determining whose religious That's belief fine. That's is, fine. is significant. But here's my problem, Mayo. Parent, I, I can spend the whole hour talking about how I think that's extremely selfish on the parents' part to put their beliefs above science, but okay. But now you're putting them in the same environment as my kids, and you're not giving me a choice. And just so we do some more math here, if you are not vaccinated and a person has measles, you have a 90% likelihood of contracting it. So why is one person's choice... This is America. We have freedoms. Mm -hmm. But if you're impacting my health unwittingly, why you, don't I have recourse? If you have been vaccinated, though, but and what if, if the I'm vaccine... Under, if I have a well, kid under one, they can't be vaccinated. Right. Okay. If I have a kid with a... If I have a person with immune deficiency, a senior, they can't be... They're not as protected against that's, someone that, else. That's, that's, that's fine, but, but if I can, what I, what I would say is this, this though. If, well, we don't know that. No, and, and we have, it's a combination wealth, of people. The wealthiest, most educated people in California think they know better it's than doctors. It's a combination of people, and the majority of the people who have contracted measles in California are not under one years old. So most of those people presumably have been vaccinated. So if you're vaccinated and you're there, the person at the greatest risk is the person who doesn't have the vaccine. But if, if rights aren't absolute, Mayo, if rights aren't absolute, and you weigh, just you do a balancing analysis, why, for some philosophical, I just don't want to do it, why should that trump... Whose rights are we talking the, about, though? Well, We're talking about the person's right to say that they don't want to. Now, I would vaccinate right my kids, but, but, they, but the point right. is... They don't have a right to infect Well, suppose someone in doesn't get the flu shot. Let me ask CDC you this. The CDC declared that measles was dead in this country. Supp Since 2007 and 2008... Very intelligent people who know better than doctors have gotten on the internet and decided that they know better Suppose than the CDC. Suppose someone goes in and, and they come up is back. and you have an, a compromised immune system and you come upon someone who has the flu and that person didn't get the flu shot. You believe you have a right to sue that person? Well, well, different. The flu it, isn't going to be fatal. Oh, the and flu yes. can very well be yes. fatal if you have last an immunodeficiency. It can be last fatal. Last year, when there was a flu outbreak, there was an emergency in this country. I have no doubt that Congress could have required everyone to get vaccinated under those And we know that those, those vaccines do not necessarily mean you're not going to get the but flu. Would you that, they don't have to be perfect, but we know that if you don't get vaccinated, diseases like measles are going to well, come we're back talking, I'm talking about the flu at this point, and where do you stop? Well, so let me ask you this, flu. going back to Rich's initial question. If you were to have it your way, would you then agree that if somebody refused to take to vaccinate their children and their children infected somebody else that died, that they should bear those the consequences of that choice and they should well, be you have a liable. Yeah, or first of all, you got to be able to prove that the person Assume got... Assume you can. No, it Assume could be you a strict can. liability offense. Well, how could it be a strict liability I'm, with a I'm national mandate? Well, that, that would prove. make no sense. If you're telling someone... Every bit of absolutely, absolutely not. If you were to tell someone that because they didn't get vaccinated that they're automatically responsible for people who do come down with the measles, that I would think would not be. I'm saying a liquidated damages penalty for failure to vaccinate. Assume for the purpose of discussion you can prove that that person infected another person okay. and that person died, would you then at least concede that it's actionable and there should be it liability? It could be actionable possibly as negligence, but I don't think you still would have to show it's different from someone who has How HIV. Is it not reckless? It's different from it's someone like who has okay, HIV and intentionally is, exposes somebody. If I can make somebody. the choice to get into a car drunk, right. you're well, going to kill somebody. Right. If I can make just, uh, I'll give a practical example. You and I, Mayo, have kids same age. 
you um, decide you want to vaccinate my, your kids, and I say, you know what? No, I, I don't believe in the science. Jenny McCarthy's right. The rest of you are wrong, okay? We both go to <laughs> Disneyland. Your kid bought a ticket. They expect to have, they have expectations when they go there. My kid infects yours, and you have to bear medical costs. And you can uh, prove it. The, yeah, and right. I can prove it. And, the, and then there's the pain and the suffering and everything else. Well, God forbid why wasn't my right. act of, if I chose to do that, why should I still, if I'm going to make that philosophical decision, why should I still well, tr act with complete disregard for some of the health <laughs> concerns and go to public places and go to whatever? Homeschool my kid if I don't want to do that. I should not go to public places. But if I'm going to make that choice, I should bear, I believe, and tell me if I'm wrong, why should I bear some responsibilities attached to my decision? There's responsibility uh, that could be assessed both ways. Because if I know my child has a compromised immune system, perhaps I shouldn't be bringing them to Disney in the first place until after. Or if I have a young child who's one year old. Uh, for instance, you can go to a gym and, and contract all kinds of things from using equipment that wasn't wiped down properly. Um, do, we, do we then at that point try to figure out who used the equipment There's before a reasonable you? expectation. There's a possibility you could get a staff or something if you Absolutely. go to a gym. But you don't expect to get measles, as Mark said, when as recently as less than 10 years ago, we thought we eradicated it from the United States. We did eradicate so it. And, I don't, and people I don't who know better than doctors have brought it back. Not well, the lower rungs of society, but the smartest rungs. There was a time in this country, rungs, there was a time in this country where we said that life. Where we wouldn't agree that tobacco harmed anybody. And there was a time in this country uh, when, when we thought that HIV was only for gay people. We called it the gay cancer. Look, so we've had so many different times House, where... And we could have lots of great diseases. No, no, but, but my only, but my only point with that, country. and Mayo, thank you so much for, for pl playing devil's advocate here. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> implicit in that is science be damned in that Everybody gets to make up their own rules. Well, why don't we bring that? Milk okay. Well, my own, right. I was about my to only say, question is this, though. Suppose polio. you have. Why don't we, uh, suppose, why don't we bring that back? Suppose, too? suppose we are talking the good about. Old days. Suppose we're talking about people who have a religious belief That's and they're religious. Well, That's how different. can it be different? Your, your child's still going to get sick. There are first it's only now you're just there are first amendment implications. But you're to willing religion. to have your child get sick based upon the I'm first amendment. I didn't say that. I didn't say that I was necessarily willing, but that would be a colorable idea. I don't think so. Please head over to Facebook and Twitter and. Sound off on a question. Should the anti-vax parents be held liable if their kid gets your kid sick? We'll be right back. And when we come back, right. is the no-fly list unconstitutional? Well, one Somali American says yes, and we're going to tell you why he's taking his battle to court.